Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Panchas, the mighty mix spammer. Do you know that I plan to start this video cast by being all cute and whatnot, and I even had a lamp pad saying, please, for the sake of all the pancakes you have ever eaten in your entire life, follow my Twitter. That's because I have been having some problems with YouTube recently and I want you to be aware when that's the case so that you do not despair and unknowing what is going to happen. However, I am now not in a mood for petty talk and... Petty talk. I don't, I'm not even in the mood for talking things that actually make sense. I'm in a mood for nonsense, blood buff, blood spill, nose breaker, default formation, uh, all the first, no default formation. Go and uh, all out, adapt the strategy. I want to kill my enemies right now. As you can clearly hear, I am absolutely pumped and ready to kill some people. Today I got a slap in the face from destiny itself and I am willing to turn this around. And while trying my rage to make the best cast yet, which this one is going to be, mark my words, I am also going to utilize this energy to A, make myself some more views. Yeah, I'm cheap like that. <laughs> Now, honestly, I'm just gonna utilize this energy to make an amazing cast, and then, while being a little bit, you know, on the cool side, I'll continue doing what I'm meant to be doing, and Destiny revealed itself to me. Alright, I'm going too far a little bit, it didn't reveal this to me, but it did slap me in the face, and I'm gonna slap it back, my, my words. And that's just Destiny, do you even know what is coming for those parts over there? Oh, they're not gonna be slapped in the face, they're gonna be blown up to little pieces, like the worthless, worthless maggots they really truly are. This guy has been utterly destroyed, annihilated one might even say, as that's exactly what happened to him. As you can see, Hore should keep attacking, ho, oh, they must be so very happy that they got to destroy my fleet. Now, usually I would possibly even re make this fleet retreat in this situation, but no, the time for running away is over, nobody's going to run away from me, it is you devils who need to run away. You better run, devil run, I have no mercy, and I know no bounds. There are no bounds to my hatred, that sounds much more epic. And as this battle loads up, I am anxious to see the blood spill in the vast emptiness of this universe, while the new battle music plays in the background, which is, I think, actually my favorite music added in this discovery expansion, but it doesn't matter. Nobody can hear music in space, nobody can hear this horatious scream in space. Or, uh, you know, how many either, because my people are probably going to scream as well. But not only because of pain, pain is just a minor setback. What, uh, what my people are really screaming because is because they know that I, as their rightful leader, am out for blood and I'll stop at nothing, nothing to get my own due share of violence and disparity. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds good enough for me to actually, you know, be all cool like. And the amazing music, oh, I do love this part of the track. Yes, I do. Wow. So many emotions, most of them negative, violence, anger, the need to kill some people. Do you even know that I've been running around in a forest the other night and that some dogs are actually afraid of me? Alright, some of them were cute dogs. But wow, there was a big dangerous dog and he was actually afraid of me. I don't know why, honestly, because for a second I thought that he was going to eat my leg off. But apparently he was afraid and, and I, at the moment I wasn't like this, I wasn't even happy. So imagine what would happen if this dog met me now. Oh, I would throw his own leg off. There is no denying that this is exactly what would happen. I would eat his leg and it would be delicious. It would have been delicious indeed. Right now what I'm going to do though, is leave my science at a relatively high rate. I do need to get better weapons. Oh yes, high is it up slacks, baby, that's exactly what's going to come in the next millennium or two. Now I created only a single time, it's not too bad. With those has is it up slacks, I'll be able to do a considerable amount of damage to my opponents and those Croatia, oh they think they have tried, do they? Well, not for long, because I was planning to have them as my allies. Now I know better, now I know that there can be no alliances 
I will not stop until this entire galaxy is dead and no endless AI is going to stop me from achieving my goals. No science victory BS, no whatever other victory there is. I'm not gonna gain economic victory. I will burn the dust and I will annihilate all sources of it in the entire known universe. Production has been fished on many of my systems and I cannot wait to utilize those ships to their most violent extent in order to bring death and havoc to all of those who dare to oppose me. Look at the army, look at the righteous field, look at how they prepare to strike at the heart of the history of red, look how anxious they are to later turn their anger against the Horatia as well, who dared capture Triumph on their own and now are probably dreaming of advancing into Zenith. Well, I have a surprise news for you, dear says You are going to die because of this decision. He picked to... to he decided to rest... Let me try that again. He decided to mess with the wrong guy on the wrong day. Today I take no prisoners. I never do. But today even more so than usual. I am ready and willing to reconcile Havoc and I just realized I forgot to design a new ship and I forgot to equip it with my most ferocious weapon, Im weapons imaginable. Also there's Drew all over my t-shirt because I actually drew it while saying this. It, it does sound kinda nasty, I know because it is nasty. But whatever, depleted as I was a mine, you know what this means. Fighters are now available to all my ships. The hour of the, my enemies impending doom is nigh. I am... I cannot wait for them to go down and to be punished for what they dare to try and achieve, which is to annoy me slightly. And even that is enough to deserve Oh, I think I actually starved one of my populations to death. Yeah, I just realized that I was supposed to move the slider slightly to the left before I lost a population on, I think it was prototype. I lost a population, whatever. They can starve to death under my dictatorship. I am the master of life and death. I choose who dies and who lives and I chose those people to die. And you know what? I am proud of my decisions because of their death. My other people will remain strong, they will learn and they will become the most violent species the universe has ever known. And look at here, Merob is under attack, it is a Hisho controlled system, it has medium jungle with dust ruins, oh I cannot wait to turn those ruins into ruins, but they stand dustless ruins. I'll claim them so well that no other, that I don't know, I got a text message, OMG! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, that's... I will be in 15 minutes, I don't care. I have a video cast to make. I have the destiny to slap. You can come in in 15 minutes. You will have to wait for me to finish recording this video as there is no denying that that's exactly what is going to happen. You did the tank, stay here, prepare for ascension in death. Where is Merop? Oh, it's over there. Right, I'll liberate Merop just to dictatorship under my own command. What are the pirates using? Medium range missile, I mean beams. That's another big problem. Actually it is because I have no shield, but I don't care. I'm gonna go for guillotine because it sounds awesome. Different formation because it's the best formation for me to use right now. I love the strategy all the way. It might not be optimal choice of cards. I understand this. I guess pirates, normal, a normal person would pick something a little bit more defensive. Maybe a short circuit or a barrier in order to minimize the damage they will deal because they, those two are going to die regardless. That's what a normal person should do. It's a much better choice than an adapted strategy against pirates. Ah, uh, but I am not a normal person. I am here to witness a massacre, a bloodbath, and I could care less if my own people are involved in ma this massacre. Tell me why should I care? Look at this, my anger brought me the right card to use. The game itself knew that uh, there is no standing between me and my hatred, and it knew that it better give me the uh, possibility to counter the enemy's card, or else I would uninstall it. No, I wouldn't do something as silly as that. I do love endless space. But let's... Whatever. I may love endless space, but let's ignore it for now. Let's pretend like I hate it instead. No, I cannot do that. But let's pretend it anyway. Yeah, kill, murder, death, blood buff. I am so pumped. I'm not even gonna stop. I do even have a full 
ginseng drink. So cold, it actually slightly has to hold in my hands. But I'm not going to drink it. I don't need it now. I'm as pumped as if I drank 20 ginseng drinks. And RNG, this pirate actually is going to survive while killing all my ships. I don't care. Let rejoice the children of North. I mean, how many in death there will be no salvation. But that's exactly what you signed up for, isn't it? Even if it isn't that I don't care because that's what I signed for. Mary, death and destruction. And that's why, kids, you should never spam other strategy against pirates. It will never work. Though it still brought this guy to his utter demise and it makes me happy as oh dad. My own people too, which is good. I don't want them to live. Yes. Bring it to corpses. I'll feed on, the, on their bodies and wipe the blood of my clothes afterwards. I don't know why I got clothes involved in this entire sentence which sounded epic regardless, but I just did deal with it. Yes. Succumb to the dark side. Start producing your most advanced ships yet. Do I have access? No, I do not have access to big ships. That's okay though. What I can do is just retrofit tectonics. As you can see, tectonics are most useful when carrying fighters and missiles, I mean bombers. And that's exactly what our Megdal ships carry. Beans? Oh, I had nice fun with them, but you know what I need? I need fighters ready for combat. Double battle fighter for the way! I need no rainbows, I need fighters. And you know those beans I have? F them, I don't care about beans, I care about melee range kinetics. Or maybe actually long range kinetics, or medium range kinetics. Well, let's think about this. I have actually no idea which kind of kinetics I should choose. I mean, medium and long range kinetics, while still could be potentially useful, they take a lot of tonnage, while melee kinetics, they are not only very efficient in melee combat, but they also are awesome. However, I feel like I don't want my ships to survive. I want everybody to die, including my own ships. And this means that they need to fire in long range. So I'm gonna use long range kinetics, baby. And those shoes I have, F them. F them all. Actually, I can leave two of them on, but that's just for the sake of it, so that Kaurash don't kill me too quickly. I want to survive at least like a single salvo or something. I don't know really why, because even after my ships die, that's something you have to realize. Even after my ships carrying those fighters and bombers are destroyed, the fighters and the bombers are not. They continue to fight until the end of the battle. And this is a huge game-breaking mechanic. In a positive way, mind you. Because this allows me to unleash my wrath upon my enemies in a, such a beautiful, violent fashion as you have never witnessed before this is what i'm here for after all making everybody just i know wiggle in agony wiggle might not sound like the most threatening word but trust me with me everything sounds threatening everything it sounds very creepy doesn't it but that's how it is supposed to sound when you stand against such a ferocious beast like myself I take no pardon for any excuses, which actually, grammatically speaking, doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but how, why would I care if all I am after is just agonizing death of me and my opponents? Yes, you heard it fair, here first, folks. I'm here to kill everybody, including myself. I feel like I'm playing the Seafu all over again. It doesn't matter if I die, as long as my enemies die as well. It's an important life lesson, folks. In life, there is death. That's my lesson. Actually, it sounds really smart. I think I should be a philosopher or something. Uh, I would be better than, I don't know, Socrates or somebody, like, along those lines. Whatever. I'll be awesome. G6, to hell, I'm going to hyper you. OMG, that's so incredible. What am I going to do with this treasure? I think I'm just going to use it. Oh, duh. Like, you figured out I'll, I'll do something else. Oh, actually, I have no access to it. I'm not gonna use it, and what you gonna do about it, huh? Nothing. Nothing. Because I'm the guy who's not using the thing, not you. Haha. <laughs> How do you like them apples, huh? You don't? Oh, that's what I figured. Hey, Teko, you know what? I think my fleet is almost ready to invade you. Oh, and they have three ships. That's okay, let's see what they are using. Beams? 
Oh, that's very nice to know. Thank you, dear sir, because you know what that means. It means that I'm going to go for an offense. Uh, yeah, why not offense retreat, right? And after I do, I know that my ships, which are equipped with the finest shields I could scrap of your own ships, will indeed destroy your ships while taking minimal casualties. Which actually doesn't sound all that cool at all, because I would rather take some significant casualties in order to watch you burn. But I guess you can't have everything, can you now? No, indeed you cannot. And it is also going to take a long time for my assistants to actually make me some more ships. So, I have the science. I was about to gain extreme metallurgy, which actually I should get, because it is a very good thing to have. How much science does it require? It requires more or less 300 science. Can I make it in 110? The answer is no, that's a negative. But I can make it in two turns, so let's make sure that it saves at two turns, and then I'll focus a little bit more on food. And I feel like I went a little bit sly, less angry-like and whatnot. So I should keep up my angriness, but sadly, it is quite difficult to be angry all the time, as you might imagine, but I don't care. I can be angry, I can be a ferocious beast if I feel like it, and that's exactly how I feel right now. And just because of this, hard and framing, I have no love for you, no patience, and no intentions to keep you going. What I need right now is more... I don't care about you, dear sir, either. You're not even a dear sir, you're just a maggot. I want to make more ships, and that's the only thing I want right now, and that's what I'm going to get. If I desire something, I get it, and no destiny, no nothing can stand in my way. Do you hear that destiny? I know you're standing right there, you stopped me today, and I know you're still here, you're laughing your A off. I know it. You're probably thinking this video is hilarious. Well, imagine it is that. Imagine I'm going to come around and actually marry you, and what was that all about? I get a message, and then it went away. I don't care, though. If this message did to stay, I would kill it as well. Yeah, that's right, you had it here first, folks. I don't even care about messages these days, as I can kill them all together with my other opponents. Messages, in fact, are my personal opponents. They are all almost what we might call a nemesis of mine. It does feel a little bit as if I'm recording a stack of two videos, doesn't it? <laughs> That's exactly how I used to act in the past. Oh well, it feels nice. And as long as it feels nice for me, I ain't gonna take it. Actually, what are you talking about? I'm not supposed to feel nice. So I'm supposed to feel furious, filled with anger and eternal rage, willing to tear all that you learned to value and love to pieces while holding no regards in doing so. This day, I promise you, universe, you better run, devil run, but you cannot run from me. Because we are killing! <sighs> yeah, I almost started to sing, but this is not the day to sing. Offer peaceful void stone. Fine, I'm going to take this void stone. And you know, do you want to know why? I'm going to take it so I can lay a shot down your A. Yes, that's right. And also because I may need. I don't need any allies, I just. I want some voice done, okay? That's what I need. That's what I went for. I got to kill those souls later on. Oh, trust me, I will. Trust me, I will. And you know what? I will enjoy doing so. I will enjoy it immensely. I will keep doing so until they are so very dead that they cannot, that they cannot be even more than the death. They will be dead dear than the dead. It's the, the death itself. That's how dead they will be. Point defense module to on ship. That's a rubbish effect on a Simic ship class. I don't like it. And I don't like it. I might still have to get it, but I'd rather not. What is the next tech I want? I want bombers, as I am willing to bomb the F out of my opponents. That's what I'm willing to do. But you know what else I'm willing to do? I'm willing to go all out on my food growth. I'm gonna have such a tremendous number, numerous advantage over my opponents that they will not even know what hit them. I will be the one who hit them, and I'll hit them so hard they'll hardly believe it. No, don't leave the screen, you dummy. I just wanted to install an extra shield because I can. That's right. I, if I can do something, then I do it. I hold no regards for second thoughts. Second thoughts are dead to me, as are you. Yes. It was supposed to sound threatening, and if it did not, then... Uh, 
I guess it didn't, but I will make it sound threatening by making it threatening in and on itself. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever, and hi there! Oh, the yeah, Akisho, and what on the F are those pirates doing? No, seriously, what are they doing here? I was on Phaeton this whole time, how could this spawn here? Again, you want to slap me too? Oh no, Destiny slapped me, and Destiny is all that can slap me today. Nothing else has the right and or privilege to slap me this day, and uh, uh, th that's that. I'm so amazed that this game actually dead to cross me. Do you see what is happening right now? I am forced to mirror this my own favorite game. Well, maybe not my favorite game. Haha, <laughs> you hear this? Endless Space, you're not my favorite. Take that to the face. You're one of my favorites, though. But I still hate you. That's because I am supposed to hate you everything today. Yeah, that's right. I'm hating you because I hate you. And it makes no sense, but it still makes me smile deep down my soul because I know what you don't know, which is something I don't know either. So I guess I don't know that you... what you don't know either. But you now know that I don't know about the thing that I don't know, but I know that you know that I don't know about the thing that I don't know. And I ended my time with this deep sentence and oh, hi there, Horatio. You were like the flee, free me of this part, Fred. Oh, thank you. You're so considerate. And oh, you captured all the plants on Trim. How nice of you. You even captured the gas helium, which I did not actually want to colonize. You're doing everything you can to actually be as annoying as humanly possible. Thank you. Oh, the galaxy can be explored widely and understood deeply. Sophos believes that the balance between those two objectives is not ideal, and this apparently makes them like me more. I have no idea what this means, but if it but if it means that they are all up for a bloodbath, then I am satisfied. I don't even bet what is it. Supernova is up navigation maps. You know what the supernova is? It's my fury triggering a supernova deep down in this dead core of the space and the universe itself. That's my fury, that's my rage. Right now you may have just a decreased. Am I recording? Oh! Oh! Oh, wow! Oh. oh, my heart skipped a beat. OMG! Oh, wow! This, if I were not recording, Destiny would have made the biggest comeback yet. It would be more than a sub, it would be. Uh, Wow, I cannot think right now. It's just too much to bear. It really is. Fuck, God is going to fight at the clonic. Oh, yeah, gee, what I'm going to do? You know what? I think I'll stand still and fight this dude. And you know what? I think I'm going to watch it. And while, I will be, and while I'm watching this, I'm going to go for a camouflage. Why? I don't really know why. But I'm going to watch it regardless. Uh, maybe it's because I didn't have a camouflage yet. I didn't use it yet. And you know what? I actually don't want to use camouflage. I want to go for adaptive strategy. You know what? I don't know why? Because I would just want to penetrate holes in my opponent. Which, please don't take it out of the context. Or oh, actually, do take it out of the context. I'm evil like this. Yes, I'm going to put holes in all of my opponent's body. And I hold no regards, no remorse, no nothing. And this will bring me pleasure, which also sounds very, very wrong indeed. But I could care less. For this day, the universe knows that I will officially destroy it. The opponent of Big Bang, you know how it's called? It's called Pancake, the mighty mix banner. I am going to end what Big Bang started. I will collapse this universe on itself. And I will squeeze it gently. Actually, I will not squeeze it gently. I will squeeze it with the most ferocious mind I can possess. In the palm of my hand, I will crush it and then chill the remains of the universe. That's right. That's how awesome I will be. That's how ferocious my anger is. How fearsome my might is. How dangerous I am. How sexy. No, I, I'm not sexy. But. <clears throat> Anyway, this cast has actually been 25 minutes long, and you know, I'm not sure if I can continue doing going for any longer than that, because I don't know why, but I, I don't know. I guess, let's say I'm going out to kill some puppies. Yes, that's exactly what I feel like doing. I'm gonna kill some puppies, and I'll enjoy their death. Who cares about, I do care about puppies, they are lovable little creatures that I like to love, but today 
I only care about anger, agony, death, and all those other pleasurable emotions that are going through my head. It was punch to the mighty mix bummer. If you somehow managed to enjoy my cast, you did, didn't you? Because if you did not, you know what's coming. I'm coming. I'm gonna go through your windows into your bedroom and I'm gonna kill you. But anyway, please do subscribe if you wish to see more crazy content from me. Also, do leave a comment. Otherwise, yet again, I will kill you personally. Which is a big honor, so you. But still, I don't want you to comment. I like comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you online.